Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another movie review once again. And today's film we're going to be talking about is Coralie Varjot's newest film, The Substance, which was just released in theaters over the weekend and I saw it on Friday and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, this is a, a comedy, drama, body horror film that took home the, the uh, Best Screenplay Award at the Cannes Film Festival this year. And this is Coralie Varjat's second film after Revenge from 2017. And it stars uh, Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley. And uh, before we get to more of my thoughts into the film, I should briefly give you guys a quick synopsis on synopsis, um, what the story's about. And then we'll get to more of my thoughts on the film. Basically, in this film, it follows a celebrity named... Elizabeth Sparkle, who is played by Demi Moore, who is a woman in her early 60s. She's like an actress and sort of one of those, does one of those workout videos or something like that for like daytime television. And then uh, one day she finds out her show is getting canceled because she's, uh, since she's in her 60s and the executives believe that people don't want to see a woman her age do workout stuff on television and then on the same day Elizabeth gets into a car accident and one of the doctors gives her a note to a uh, like a phone number about a drug a black market drug known only as the substance which basically if you inject yourself it'll do it'll make like It'll duplicate your cells and make an entirely different person, like a much younger and better version of yourself, but with a completely different face, that kind of thing. And so Elizabeth uh, calls the, uh, the, the seller and she gets her hand on the uh, substance and she injects herself and she passes out and then she wakes up in a new body of a woman named Sue, played by Margaret Qualley. And the catch is you got to swap your body between bodies like once every week. Otherwise, there will be consequences if you don't change your, back into your normal body and change back into your new body. And then, needless to say, since it's a body horror movie, it eventually starts to go wrong. And without giving away too much, that's basically the story of the film in a nutshell. Now, I have seen Coralie Vajat's previous film, Revenge, and I actually own it on Blu-ray, and I uh, I really enjoyed that one. I thought it was well-made, it was action-packed, it was pretty gory, and it was a, a really good debut film. I actually revisited the night before I saw The Substance. Um, this new film, The Substance, was fantastic, and I loved it. And I think it definitely deserved winning the best uh, best screenplay at the Cannes Film Festival. It was really well acted. It was pretty gory. Sure, it was slow considering it's 140 minute runtime, but I had no issue with the long runtime. Uh, both Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley were, were both great in the film. It was funny. It was weird. It was pretty gory and pretty disturbing at times. And all in all, I really enjoyed it. And. The social commentary with this movie is really good too. It basically speaks out against some really absurd uh, beauty standards like like say like in the film like they basically sacked uh, Elizabeth's show because she's getting too old. She's like in her early 60s. And when Sue comes in, they give her a new show because of her looks and stuff like that. It basically speaks up against a lot of these ridiculous beauty standards when it comes to, like, fashion, modeling, and all that other stuff. And, um, I think it handles it pretty well, actually. And, um, I gotta say, the last half of the movie is probably the weirdest part. Like, I don't want to spoil it, but if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, all in all, I thought The Substance was a great film, and I highly recommend it if you like body horror movies and, in general, art house and weird movies like I do. Um, it might not be for everyone, but I personally really enjoyed it. 
it's pretty much what if David Lynch and David Cronenberg made a movie together. I think it would be something like this. It kind of gives me, it kind of reminds me of it though, but yeah, it's, I had a lot of fun seeing this one. And at the time of me recording this video, I can't decide if it's my new favorite film of the year or maybe tied with Challengers. Because uh, Challengers, as of this video, Challengers still remains as my favorite film of the year. So this might be tied with this movie or this might be my second favorite. I don't know, but I really, really enjoyed this film and highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. And I also recommend Corley Farjad's previous film, uh, Revenge. I also really enjoyed that one as well. I'll probably do a review of that one maybe one day. Anyways, I really enjoyed uh I really enjoyed the substance and I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. So there you guys have it. That's going to be it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos like this and turn on notifications and share the video. And I got another video coming up here in a little bit, so stay tuned for more. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. And yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye.